Today, I'm gonna to show you how to connect your Canon camera wisely to a computer. I'm gonna be using the Microsoft Surface tablet here, which has Windows 10. So whether you're using a Windows 10, Windows 11 computer, or even a Mac computer, the procedure I'm showing you today will be exactly the same. The first thing you need to do is to go to the settings of the Canon camera. To do that, tap on the menu icon on the back of the camera go into the fourth section in yellow, represented by a spanner, and then in the subsection number five, tap on wireless communication settings. Tap on Wi-Fi settings, and then tap on enable Wi-Fi. Go back one step using the back menu button, go to the next section Wi-Fi function, and use the left and right arrows to move across till you get to the connect options. You can connect to a smartphone, you can connect to the EOS utility app, you can connect to a printer or a web service. Because we're connecting to a computer, we wanna select the option in the middle, which is remote control EOS utility. Tap on that option, and then tap on register a device for connection. The EOS has now gone into Wi-Fi pairing mode, so we're now ready to go across to our computer and connect via Wi-Fi. Before we do anything, we need to download and install the Canon EOS Utility software, which is available on the Canon website. It's available for both Mac and Windows computers, and I'll leave a link to where to download in the description box below. Now, I've already installed the software on my Microsoft Surface, but before launching it, we need to make the Wi-Fi connection with the camera. To do that, simply tap on the Wi-Fi icon in the toolbar at the base of the computer, and then in the drop-down list that appears, search for the Canon camera. Tap on your camera, and you've now made a wireless connection between the computer and the camera. And now I can click on the remote shooting option. So we can see that we have the control panel of the camera, which allows me to change all the camera settings. If I now click on live view shoot, we get a preview of the camera right there on screen. You'll notice that the video is a little jittery and that's because the transferring of data over Wi-Fi is not as seamless as when using a wired connection. And the same issue occurs when shooting stills if you're shooting in RAW. It can take five to eight seconds to transfer large 30 to 15 megabyte images across over Wi-Fi. So if you are using this software to shoot stills and you're in RAW mode, let me show you how to change the settings so that your RAW images are captured on camera and only small JPEGs are being transferred over Wi-Fi. To do that, Go to your Canon camera and make sure that you're in photo mode. Click on the menu icon at the back of the screen and in image quality, make sure that you've got that set to shoot raw as your main image and the secondary option as JPEG so that you're shooting both raw and JPEG images at once. Then in the Canon EOS utility software, click on this icon that appears under the ISO setting and change the option to computer and camera memory card in raw JPEG mode only and transfer JPEGs to the computer. This will allow you to shoot in raw and transfer JPEGs across to the computer for monitoring. Thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you have any comments or questions, feel free to drop them in the comments box below. And by all means, if you enjoyed this video, hit me up with a like and consider subscribing to the channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you're notified of up and coming video releases. Bye for now.